Greg Tavone here, gregtavone.com. So today's the day we're gonna start teaching you how to play guitar from scratch. So we're gonna start right from the beginning and uh, I know a lot of people see a lot of things on the internet and they're not sure where to start. So I'm gonna start from scratch and just kinda of go um, step by step. And again, being a musician for so many years, my stressing point to you is that you need to learn how to read music in conjunction with learning the guitar. So once again, we're going to uh, start from the first string on the guitar, we're gonna go through, and each week I'm gonna be sharing a video with you going through each of the strings of the guitar, and I'm gonna have lessons for you that you can uh, see on my Patreon page, and um, the first few I'll give you for free as well, just to, just to try out um, my website. I hope you're gonna find this stuff interesting. I've already had some great feedback from from uh, people and some of my students already that say that uh, they really enjoy going through these lessons. So, lots to talk about when you're just starting guitar and again, parts of the guitar, when you pick up a guitar for the first time, if you're not sure what to, to do, it's just like a person. We have the head, the neck, and the body, and uh, we have the tuning pegs here, which adjusts the, the tension on the strings. We have the nut of the guitar, and then up the guitar neck, we have frets and depending on the acoustic or electric model or semi-acoustic model uh, you can have anywhere from 20 frets to 24 frets and all kinds of variations uh, in the future right now. Across here we have the bridge and um, here are the pegs holding the strings in on an acoustic guitar. Here's your pick guard and we have the sound hole and then you have your strap button on the end and uh, you might have if you have a pickup mounted in yours um, as this one does, you might have some volume knobs or whatever on the guitar, so they're pretty much all the same. Uh, just getting through for the first lesson again, you might want to get your guitar tuned up uh, to pitch, and the standard pitch we call is 440 hertz, and you're going to see lots of videos on that too. People have played around with the standard tuning, but uh, we're going to talk about uh, 440 hertz for, the, for now. And if you get yourself a guitar tuner just to get yourself up to pitch, um, the string notes are E, B, G, D, A, and E, going from high to low on the guitar. Um, and just a couple things about the guitar. As I'm teaching you how to read music um, on the treble clef, and um, so there's a little bit of theory involved in it. But one thing I want to tell you right off the get-go is that when guitar reads music, the pitch for the note is actually an octave lower than it sounds when you read the music, and not many guitar players uh, know that piece but that'll make more sense to you as we get along in the videos and I explain a little bit more with, uh, with regard to that. For these lessons, I'm going to give you the tried and true uh, practice methods that I have taught students over the years that really helps them through uh, the notes. And again, um, the next thing I want to just talk about is the fingering for your guitar on the left hand. If you're left-handed, you'll be fretting the notes. Again, if you're right-handed, your guitar will face the other way. and um, and your, it'll, uh, things will be backwards unless you have a left-handed guitar. Again, sometimes left-handed people play uh, the right-handed method on the guitar and it works for them as well. So with regard to the fingering on the left hand, we're gonna call this obviously your thumb. This will be finger one, two, three, and four. So um, if you're playing piano, they start um, actually with the thumb with finger one, but we're gonna, you're gonna just call that the thumb for now. And this will be string one, two, three, and four. And the rule I'm going to say at the beginning, and again, we start rules and then we can break them as we move along, is your first finger will be fretting the notes at the first fret. Your second finger will be fretting the notes at the second fret. Your third finger will be fretting the notes at the third fret. And your fourth finger will be fretting notes at the fourth fret. So whenever we have notes on those, I'd like you to stick to that rule later. The best thing about rules is um, there's always rules that can be broken for specific reasons and I find that's really important for, uh, for guitar to start right from the get-go with the, that fingering piece, try and stick to that as you're going through the notes. And um, so an exercise you might want to try again is just moving fretting through the notes. And um, with regard to the right hand, now there's several ways you can play. You can play with a plectrum or a pick, we like to call this a pick. And I like to use a hard pick. People have, uh, again, you can, I would suggest you try different pick strengths. Some are very, very soft, and when you play them, they actually um, will flick back and forth a little bit, and I'm not too fussy on that um, picking. Actually, I like to have a very, very strict pick, so when I pick, 
can trail low and I can do things really, really fast. But once again, um, that's another feature that you can try and experiment with. And over the years, I've changed picks as many times as I've changed strings on the guitar. So just to get you going on that. What I'm gonna ask you to do for the right hand is to hold the pick with your thumb and your index finger on the right hand so that your thumb is pointing the ceiling and then your pick is pointing at a 90 degree angle to that. So it's coming up and across. I like to use just my thumb and my uh, first finger. Some guitarists use two fingers and a thumb. Uh, some guitar players uh, use their middle finger and their thumb, keep this finger open for doing harmonics. Once again, where do you start? I suggest uh, as you're learning that you try the standard way, which is just these two fingers. Some people, again, like to put their pinky finger on somewhere on the pick guard to guide them when they're playing some of these notes, um, and then some people don't. So once again, I would experiment with those and, uh, and just try and play through those. So just to get started on the guitar, what I'd like you to do again is put your thumb just at the back of the neck. Um, typically when we're playing, we don't like to see the thumb way up here. Uh, later on you'll see chords or some chords we can play with the thumb. But standard good technique is that the thumb is just at a comfortable position behind the neck, maybe just peeking over a little bit. Once again, you don't want it up here. And we fret the note and we fret the notes on the tip of the finger. And the note is not fretted on the fret, but just slightly behind it. And again, with good technique, you don't have to press really hard. So as a beginner guitarist, or, or um, if you've picked up an instrument you've had for a long time, the first thing you're gonna see is on your guitars when you play the notes, are the strings too high off of your guitar? And that's called the action, and that can be adjusted, um, first of all, by strength uh, of your strings. It could be thicker or thinner strings. Or the other option is that you get your bridge adjusted um, you can have it, the action raised or lowered by adjust, uh, adjusting the truss rod. Again, that should be left to professionals unless you know what you're doing with that. But again, if you find your guitar really hard to play, I would suggest bringing it into a, a music store or somewhere professional just to have your guitar set up. Um, and again, if you're starting, you might want to start off with some lighter strings and move forward. So the one exercise I'd like you to try right now, we're going to pick all these notes down, is just fretting the open string. Then put your first finger on the first fret, your second finger on the second fret, your third finger on the third fret, and your fourth finger on the fourth fret. So you can practice that for a few minutes, just playing open. You can even practice keeping your fingers down if you want. Uh, it's not a requirement when you're playing guitar, but it's a good way to build some technique and you can speed that can even come backwards, four, three, two, one, open. And again, pick all the notes down um, for the guitar. When we're playing notes of value, quarter notes, half notes, whole notes, and anything uh, longer than a quarter note, I suggest to start, you pick all the notes down. Once you get to eighth notes, where you're playing two notes in one beat, that's when you pick down on the strong beat and then up on the end beat. And you'll see the notation for down is a sort of a, a box with the bottom open on it. It's sort of a rectangle like that, which means pick down. And uh, oddly enough, picking up is a V, uh, which I could never understand. Uh, I know it's got to do with violin bowing techniques and that, but it always seems strange that the picking up symbol, which was the V, is actually, it looks like it's pointing down, but it really means to pick up. So I would suggest when you're playing the, uh, the notes down on the strong beat, so it would be able to just play with the open E note, it would be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So it would be one and two and three and four and, and you can play a little faster, one and two and three and four and. Put your first finger on the first fret and this note is F and that would be one and two. Second finger on the second fret. And third finger on the third fret, which is G. And I purposely didn't talk about the second fret note name because I don't want to confuse you with, with sharps or flats at this time. So G would be. And the fourth finger on the fourth fret on the first string would be. So once again, you can practice picking those in any pattern you want. And that's 
picking down and up on those notes. <laughs> 